Welcome to Learn with Sai. In this tutorial, we would be covering the topic use of audio and animation on web pages. So, let us read the question. Create a web page that continuously plays a background sound for a specific number of time without controls. This page must also contain an animated file that is GIF file where display dimensions are 100 pixels by 100 pixels and also make use of uh, alternate text for animated file. Uh, we have to create one more web page that plays a sound continuously with controls. The web page should contain animated image file that is GIF file with the display dimensions 100 by 100 pixels with alternate text. So let us proceed with the coding part. Create a new folder. Experiment number 5. Let us open the notepad. HTML tag. So let us start with the audio with controls. We'll open the body tag. We'll close the body tag. We'll close the HTML tag. So we are ready with the basic structure of the HTML code. Let us save the file. Expert number 5 folder. So we'll store it as with dot HTML. Within H1 tag, we will specify use of audio and animation with controls. Okay. Let us save this file and let us open the file. So we can see the title as use of audio and animation, use of audio and animation with controls. Okay, let us place this heading at center we have to insert an image which is a uh, animated image so we have to insert an animated image and its dimension should be 100 by 100 pixels so let us download any of the animated image let us go to the google We'll download the GIF image, GIF cartoon. Okay. So let us save this save image as it should be in GIF graphics interchange format. So let's go to desktop, desktop, experiment number five, tenor dot GIF. We'll use this image okay over here. IMG that is image tag space SRC that is source is equal to double inverted comma image name GIF. Okay, they are already they have already specified the width and the height, the dimensions should be hundred by hundred. You can change the dimensions as per your requirement. Okay, let us save this and let us check for the output FI. So, this is the image, animated image. Okay, uh, let us place this image also at the center. We'll copy the code, control C, control V. Okay. And we'll see the output. Okay. So now uh, they've already sp they also specified that they 
need an alternate text for the image so we'll press alt is equal to which is an attribute for img tag alt is equal to a dancing <coughs> dancing girl okay okay so when you mouse over the image you'll get that bubbled message message in a bubble so just because alt is not supported by chrome or firefox it is only supported by internet explorer so this is the actual example of cross browser testing so whenever a web developer develops a page he have to or she has to you know take care of the attributes which are supported in each and every browsers so your alt uh, which is meant for alternate text is not supported by chrome which we are using right now the default browser in my system and uh, same goes for firefox but if you open this web page on internet explorer you can see the bubble dancing girl so what we have to do is if you want to display alternate text for both browsers or for all the browsers you should use title and dancing girl okay and you can refresh the page and you can see dancing girl so the best example of cross browser testing so the main part is the audio with control so let us insert the audio embed space src is equal to the file name okay so let us download the file okay so we'll download the file or copy paste the file right now i don't have any f song in my system so i'll get the file for example go to pagalworld.com okay okay we have downloaded the file we'll close it okay we'll show in folder you will copy the file and paste that file in that folder experiment number five the song which you have downloaded or you have it in your system already you have to copy that file and you have to paste it in this folder wherein you have created this html file so we'll change the name by pressing f2 and m u n t i y a n okay it is a mp3 format file so we'll put we'll save the file and we'll open it okay so you can, you can see the song is playing okay we'll place this Again, we'll place this thing at the center. So it's very simple. Okay. Uh, let us read the question. We are in second question. We are creating the web page with control. So the song must play continuously. So continuously. So we'll use loop is equal to true. So it will play the song continuously without stopping. Okay. And if you specify one over there, it will, it will play once. If you specify three, it will play thrice. Okay. So if you specify if true, it will play continuously. If you specify false, it will play only once.
if you want to play this sound continuously then you have to specify the value as true for loop attribute so let us open the file with internet explorer because if you open it with the google chrome it doesn't support it doesn't support the loop is equal to true attribute if you take the file in google chrome it does not support the attribute loop is equal to true so in order to get the output proper output you have to open the audio experiment in internet explorer okay i love the blocked content here you can see the song has started playing and in the end take it to the end and you'll see this song is ending now and it will play once again okay automatically so it will play continuously okay so we are done with this experiment okay so we are done with the experiment let's proceed with this second part control a select all control c copy control n new and control v paste so we are in new notepad file and we have to type without controls without controls okay and save it as without dot ht ml okay so let us read the question the first part create a web page that continuously plays the background sound for a specific number of times without controls so we have to uh, specify the number of times the song should be played the page must ca also contain the animated image where the display dimension is 100 by 100 and the same question so here we have to change the embed to bg sound okay and just because we cannot see the controls over here so center tag is not necessary is not needed so it should play twice or thrice so we'll specify twice okay the same code is being used for the without controls just we need to change the bg sound bg sound single word that should be no space in between bg sound let us open the output open with internet explorer so as you can hear the sound and also see that there are no controls in this experiment okay so we'll close the file okay so we are done with the experiment both the experiments also make sure that it is only supported in lower versions of internet explorer uh, internet explorer with version 10 and 11 is not supported so it's a very simple experiment there are two web pages to be created in this experiment so that's it thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share this video to your mates thank you